start with the aspect which is multidisciplinary and is different from the presentations which were held today morning. COVID-19 crisis has affected societies and economics around the globe and is expected to reshape the globe in a different form on the unfolding. The crisis fallout is both amplifying with the familiar risk and creating new ones. We are finding that there are systemic challenges and at the same time, there are issues related to the aspects of the chemistry, the economy and the others. We find that the situation is different in the different platforms and in the different arena. But the next, the, the next aspect is that we need to address wider range of issues like trade, governance, health, labor technology, to name a few and consider where the balance of risk and opportunities exist. We find that there are issues into the treatments, but at the same time, there is a critical issue of the waste management. We are using huge amount of personal protective equipments. If I say at this platform that India now manufactures 4.5 lakh PP kits a per, in a particular day, and even the, in the N95 masks are about 2 lakhs per day. There was a situation when we were not having the sufficient amount of the PP kits and the masks, gloves and other things which are included in the PPA system. But today we find that it is in a significant amount. If we want to have the virus control, there are different facets. The first part is we should have a proper testing facility. And fortunately, we have been in the global level made the different amounts of the developments to defeat the virus. They may host cell functions to glycosylate, uh, which was a basic part when I was reading this particular webinar's beginning. Here we find that viruses may use host cell function to glycosylate viral proteins, which affect viral glycoprotein stability and function during the post cell entry. We, the another aspect is involvement in the viral antigenicity responsible for immune evasion by viruses. We find that the immunity enhancement is one aspect, the wellness, nutraceuticals is very another important aspect. We have to see about the futuristic approaches and to strengthen the R&D, the incubation centers to support young entrepreneurs and startups. There at the same time, there is a need of livelihood generation and security creation. That when we see to the business, it should not be as a routine work, but it should be change is needed in the present scenario in the post COVID because on one side, we have to see the health. On the other side, we have to and the businesses. Minimize the waste production during the different courses. And the motivation and stress management, the earlier speakers has told about the toxicity aspect, about the usage in the different scenario or in clinical part also. But we have to see that how we can use the approaches of artificial intelligence, big data, drones, new tools in the system. Recently, we have seen that there are about 100 vaccines being developed worldwide. The next issue comes up. Are they all valid? What is the efficacy? Are the proper quality assurance has been performed? And then we find that there is a big challenge and we have to see that as per the international norms, WHO, ICMR guidelines and others, the OECD principles, whether they have been followed at the different levels from the testing to the vaccine to the drugs and others. So we have to see this aspect. The another part is, can we, prevent the disease to come to us by enhancing our immunity? Answer is yes. So what we need, good food, healthy food without adulteration and also at the same time, we should not waste the food because it is very, very vital. In this particular slide, I would like to focus the chemistry as taking one example of curcumin and pepper. The, when you mix the curcumin in pepper, it increased the absorption level up to 2000%. And the another issue is, which has been highlighted in the center, that the quality control at the different levels. 
what we are manufacturing as a drug or a drug designing and to the application or to the vaccination. The another issue is when we see about the enhancement of our immunity, we have the curcumin and the structures are here. The same knowledge has been utilized for the getting the best product because in the market we find the product range is very wide. The costing is different and we have to understand the basic principles of food chemistry. Why it becomes multidisciplinary? Because it is now the nutritionist as well as the medical doctor, the chemist and the biologist. The biochemistry is very important. And when we see to the food factors, there is immune modulation, antioxidants, anti-mutagenesis, we have to understand the detoxification, apoptosis, and thus this wonderful slide may just give you an indication that it is not a plant itself, but the beauty of the plant and its application and its proliferation and getting the active ingredient. So we have to see that how the chemical engineering becomes also important. When we see about the particular even simple mask or PP kits, we have to see that they are made as per the norms of the international guideline for ISO, which says for the mask, shields, ventilator parts, it is not getting the product. It is the product with the base efficacy or a specification or the guidelines. Even the testing kits, the glasswares, the different hospital items, for the frontliners, we have to see where we are, what we do, and how we do it. And is it really serving the purpose? After serving the purpose, even it is disposed of in a proper way. The earlier speaker was referring about the getting the collection of the mask and the PP kits, which has been used for the different patients. So I want to change the perception at this moment here that it is not only the usage, we have to think about the disposal aspect, which has been untouched to a great extent, and thus the disposal becomes important, and thus we need a proper sanitation at the one time, health and hygiene, and the incineration, and the collection system. Now, coming to the aspect of the diagnostic part, the RT-PCR will remain the gold standard for all viral infections and the artificial intelligence, deep learning models can help in predicting old and new drugs that might successfully treat COVID-19. And thus we have to see that what is happening and how it was happening. It is very clear to everyone that the deaths were not only because of the disease, but there was because of the many other factors correlated with the pandemic. And what are those cofactors? It may be the movement, it may be migration, it may be uh, empty, food, uh, empty stomach, or there can be the stress, which is creating a lot of problems. So how we can have the immunity enhancement to prevent the stress, how we can have more exercises to keep us fit, that becomes important. Keeping into the time into consideration, I have used the pictorial so that it becomes very clear that it is not only the collection or the, the end point is that how we manage till the last end. The global yesterday figure is um, mentioned in this slide at the bottom that globally how many number of confirmed cases are there and how many deaths. It is not just a figure. It is the when we are finding the person who is directly connected to you, that is a mortality, that is a great terror and a great horror in the minds. It created different stress and the whole family and the interval, the differences are there. The issues are not only to one individual, but it spreads in the community and this creates an issue of panic. We have to control panic, treat and in, do, go ahead with a rightful manner. So we find that the capacity building is one very important aspect. Another aspect is how we can have the PPEs, what type of PPEs, where to use, how to use, and can there can be a sustainable waste management of these all materials. Because in the hospitals there we are treating, the frontliners are using all these items, but is there a waste segregation? Collection, storage, transportation, the disposal practices as per the international norms? Here we have to see where are the controls. The controls may be in elimination, substitution, engineering aspects, and thus we have to balance the work and the life together. We find that there is a great role of the different vitamins, and thus we are finding that in the center of the table, uh, we find the nutraceuticals. 
the vitamin D, the different other chemicals, and these are for the enrichment of the health. Are we using the antioxidant to the pills or we are using to the vegetables? So we have to see where is the medicine, where, what are the nutraceuticals, and to what level we can use. Can we do it as a multi-sectoral level? Can we do it at a global level? Because this is not an issue of one country or one boundary. The disease does not know the boundary. It knows where it can go. And thus we can learn from the nature that we have to fly with a better way, with better models, better understanding and understanding of the chemistry behind it, understanding of the functioning it and taking to the societal aspects. We find that it is not just the water. Similarly, the water in concentration with the pandemic, we have to see because that becomes a basic structure. As a chemist, we say as is H2O, but it is more than that because it is going along with the drugs and the chemicals and the normal sanitation. So we have to see that how we can manage it and there is a need of the SWOT analysis at the different stages. There is not one medicine or one particular, that is voluminous literature, but it goes from the strength, weaknesses, and where is the plateau in one country, where is the plateau in the other country. Can it be just restricted or it will be a bell curve leading to the situations? Because this is a group where I'm finding the uh, students as well as the renowned person and then the academicians of the different levels. I have used the aspect of the pictorial part with the different data. And here we come also to the another aspect of sustainability. And when we talk about the sustainability, we have to understand the basic attitudes, the practices, the management systems. And if I see to the top 10 bio-based chemicals, even there is a great market. Here there is a chemistry and we have to understand chemistry and sustainability together for the components, for the integrity, and for getting the green chemistry into the concepts. When we see about the food, it is not uh, fulfilling, fulfilling our stomach need or it's a satiety center, but we have to see about the composition, the integrity of that. When we see about the adulteration aspect, we find it is because of just the mindset of few of the persons, the people, the planet, the processes, the food, we may go for one variety of the food or the other, but we have to see whether there is a no adulteration or pesticide residues into the system. When I talk about the pesticide, it is a chemical. And when I see to a chemical, there are structures. And when you see to the structures and the biochemical interfaces, we find the total system goes from the one point to the another, leading to the different type of wonderful publications in Lancet, in Scientific American, in the different journals of repute. We find that how this really functions, if and we have to understand the immunity level, this we can understand to the various modes, but to simplify it, I have just tried to give you an idea that what is needed and how we can enhance the immunity. When we see about the carbohydrates, the different polysaccharides, it is not the polysaccharides simply. They are playing in a different role. They have a variety of utilization in our day-to-day -day life. How we can improve, how we can characterize, and whether the quality control is there at the different levels. We have to see that what are the hierarchy for the prevention to the minimization and ultimately to the disposal. It is not just the cleaning. Again, when we are doing the cleaning, it is not the one particular agent or a disinfectant, how we use it and what that composition is. When we are saying about the propyl alcohol, or ethyl alcohol, where and what concentration? Is it going for the positive point or it is going for the negative? So what we can bear and how? Because we have to find the best solution amidst these situations. And thus, when we call about the toxicity, the earlier speaker was talking about the cytotoxicity and the different points. I say again, that starting from the acute oral toxicity, subacute oral toxicity, the neurological aspect, reproductive and behavioral changes, the behavior can change and it can give you the interfaces. During this COVID situation, we have to control our brains and getting the best enrichment. At, at the same time, minimizing the stress for our elders and for the children because there is a pressure in the education sector as well in the health. So there are issues of the different disruptions and thus it can be controlled using the different modes. When we see about the WHO, ICMR, FDA guidelines, it is not a product. 
we have to see about the packaging, labeling, environmental aspects, and how we can have the utilization of green chemistry concepts in the different phases. The FSSI is working hard, the WHO for the different reasons, but we find, is it really preventable for COVID-19? Answer is some yes, some no. But the, un the real answer goes with the supporters from the stakeholders and so understanding of our common man. We have to see are interlinked with biodiversity and uh, we find the flora and fauna is directly affected with the chemicals. So the today turning challenges and converting into opportunities, the chemistry, which is the, even the chemical industry is fa facing a recession at this stage, but we have to find which product we have a market and how we can change the scenario. What are the, is it only the recycling or getting a new produce? If there is a new produce, what extent and how we can really do the best purpose for the efficacy at the different levels. We have to see that it is not the one guideline or the another. We have to see holistically and at the same time minimize the pollution and think from, learn from the lessons from our earlier period during the COVID period and post COVID period. So we find that when we are uh, finding the different disciplines, chemistry has a key role to play in the understanding everything from viral structure to pathogenesis. In this particular webinar, when chemistry and biology has been linked, we find the vaccines and therapies goes together. The basic researchers, virologists and clinicians are together to understand and to find out the solutions. It is not only that we act to it through this particular aspect of immunomodulation and under understanding the nature in a closer way and to increase the tourism in the coming years, not be restricted just because of the safety point of view, but that needs a cautious driving, a cautious driving to the different platforms because you can't just take a ride to or take an aircraft and go to the another place. You have to think about the safety of your health, safety of the neighbors and safety of all the travelers and safety at the place where you are reaching. Are you not carrying certain particular viruses and giving, uh, instead of giving a boost up, you are finding that there may be a negative aspect. So we have to safeguard it. That it is not only the judiciary or the strategic holders or the manufacturers has to take, play a role, but even the nutritionists had to see that they give the right food at the right moment in the right quantity with the right type of composition. So the understanding the concept at the same time, why I'm saying the pollution aspect, because the micro beads, which are used in the different personal care products, cosmetics, packaging of the different pharma products, ultimately they go into the oceans and they are filling the oceans. It is said that there might be more plastic in comparison to the fishes or the different aquatic organisms. So this takes me to another aspect and from the wonderful world to the next aspect, how we can safeguard our future generation. And this takes me to the classification, not only of segregation, but from the waste material and to the packaging material of the farmer sectors to the day-to-day -day happenings. We can have the wonderful plants, wonderful aspects, but we see that how it is taken care. It was glad to know that the Lucknow University took the initiative with, and the different CSR, DST, ICR, uh, the different laboratories of the world to fight the different situation in a different way. And we find that is, there is a need of good understanding between the plants. And when I say the Santa figure, it is the partnership with the different industrialists, judiciary, enforcing agency, R&D organization. And when well, we have to see from the wonderful eye. So these eyes are not, not just ophthalmic, simple curated eyes, but there is a good vision through the wonderful lenses. And these wonderful lenses are made up of chemical structures. They are made from the chemical materials. And thus we have to understand whether it is the, the region or the, even the salinity in the eyes there is because of the slight salty content. And when we find the composition, it differs. Well, here I come to the nearly to the end of the presentation, taking into the consideration the time and the other speakers. We have to think about the sanitizers, the different type of kits, and we have to understand the clinical aspects, but there are at the same time, many, many things. There may be a good picture, the bad picture. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, 
but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. And instead of I, I will put all the academicians, all their contributors, all the participants who are in this particular webinar, because each has a role to play. And this Robert Frost Wordings takes us that how we can see this wonderful environment and we can meet towards the mutual interest and uh, taking all the boundaries of our own self or regions or areas, but taking a global front for the betterment of all the years to come. With this, I come to the end and thank you for your patience hearing. There are answers to the different queries will be provided and you can raise the, you can point point the questions to the chat or give the questions to the organizers. Thank you a lot once again for a wonderful hearing and an opportunity given by the organizers to share my experience, changing the perspective of yours, thinking just not only COVID, but post COVID and the situations of the different masks, the PP kits, the different disposals, even after the death we are finding in some of the regions, the it may not become a carrier. So environment, we have to protect the environment. With all this, thank you once again for your patience.